Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. To the Lamb of God, we bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. We bless God for another beautiful day, another Sunday of the year. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is Virtual Summer in Christ Ministry. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. This is our Sunday service. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this precious moment. We thank you for this uh, today, another Sunday of the year. Father, we thank you for waking each and every one of us up to see another day. Father, you are worthy, you are mighty, you are excellent, you are wonderful. And I take perfect control for the service, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, God, we bless you only. We exalt you only, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. How excellent is your name. 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 How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name, Lord. How excellent is your name, Lord. How excellent is your name, O oh, Lord. How marvelous is your name. How marvelous is your name. How marvelous is your name, O oh, Lord. How beautiful is your name, Lord. How beautiful is your name, Lord. How beautiful is your name. Oh Lord, how marvelous is your name, Lord. How marvelous is your name, Lord. How marvelous is your name, oh Lord. How wonderful is your name, Lord. How wonderful is your name, Lord. How wonderful is your name, oh Lord. How wonderful is your name. How excellent is your name how excellent is your name oh lord how excellent is your name lord how excellent is your name <clears throat> excellent is your name oh lord how excellent is your name lord how excellent is your name how excellent is your name papa god how excellent is your name, Lord. How marvelous is your name, Lord. How marvelous is your name, oh Lord. How wonderful is your name, Lord. How wonderful is your name, Lord. How wonderful is your name, oh Lord. How wonderful is your name, Lord. How wonderful is your name, Lord. How wonderful is is your name, oh Lord. How excellent is your name, Lord. How excellent is your name, Lord. How excellent is your name, oh Lord. Praise Master Jesus. How excellent is our, our Father Almighty God. He's excellent. Wonderful Jehovah, excellent Jehovah. I would like to read the word of the Lord, the book of uh, uh, the book of um, Psalms. Eight, praise Master Jesus. Psalms eight, I read in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has accepted the glory above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes, and a circling that thou ordinate strength because of thy enemies. 
that uh, thou mightest, mightest see the enemy and uh, the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of uh, thy fingers, the moon and uh, the stars, which uh, thou hast uh, ordained, what is man that uh, thou art uh, mindful of uh, him, and uh, the son of a uh, man that uh, thou visited uh, him? For uh, thou hast uh, made him a, a, a little lower than uh, the angels, and uh, hast uh, crowned uh, him with a uh, glory and a uh, and, uh, and, uh, honor. Thou made us uh, him uh, to uh, have a uh, dominion over the works of uh, thy hands. Thou hast uh, put all things under his uh, feet, all sheep and the uh, awesome, yea, and uh, the beasts of uh, the feet, the fowls of uh, the air, and uh, the fish of uh, the sea. And whatsoever the person through the path of their seas. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Praise Master Jesus, our Father God, excellent Savior, excellent Redeemer. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God in Jesus' name. So now we are we are going to start our praising, praise and uh, praise. We are going, sorry. We are going to pray an uh, opening prayer. We are going to start with the opening prayer. And we call upon the servant of God, Evangelist Jan. May the Lord bless you, ma. Sorry, I was muted. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, brethren. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is another day, the day the Lord has made for us to be glad and rejoice in it. Our God is mighty, faithful, glorious. He is a wonderful God, a miracle working Father, our healer, our provider. Today is another day who come before his throne of grace and mercy. Jehovah, King of glory, I thank you because you are God. I bless your holy name for there is no one like you. Thank you, mighty Father, for this day again. As we are starting, Lord God Almighty, we give all to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, another day that the Lord has made. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will glad, be glad in it. This is the day, oh yes, Another day that the Lord has made. Today, I lifted my voice in praise. Today, not tomorrow. Today, I will lift up my voice in praise. For all I know, for all I know. You are always there for me, Almighty God. You are my all in all. No matter what we face, when success comes our way, we we'll praise the Lord. Today, oh no, tomorrow, today, oh, we will lift up our voice in praise. Today, oh, 
Lord, we will lift up our voice in praise. A Jehovah, for all we know. Oh Lord, you are always there for us. Almighty God, you are the only one. No matter what we come through, when success come our way, we will praise your name. You alone are worthy, Lord. Oh, to be praised and adore. You alone as worthy, Lord. To be praised and adore. You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages gone. That is why your name is forevermore. Is forevermore. You'll be faithful, Lord. You'll be faithful from the ages, God. Oh, that is why your day is forevermore. Oh, that is why your day is forevermore. Stand. We stand in a way of you. We stand, oh Lord, we stand in a way of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due, we stand in awe of you. We stand in a veil of you, Lord. We stand, oh yes, we stand in all of you. Yes, Lord, we stand. Hey, Father, we stand in a veil of you. Holy God, to whom our praise is due. We stand in all of you. You deserve the glory, yes, Lord, and the honor. Father, we raise our voice in worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we raise our voice in worship as we praise your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you, Lord. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let us begin to worship the Lord. Let us exalt his name. He's the mighty God. He's a faithful God. There is no God like him. There is no one like him. Let us lift up our voice and worship him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, King of glory, I worship you. Rock of ages, I worship you. Mighty man in battle, I worship you. My Lord and my King, we worship you. Father, we worship you. That you are great, worship you that you are mighty, worship you that you are faithful. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, mighty man. Lord, I worship you. 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 Lord, I exalt your name. Lord, we exalt your name. Lord, we lift your name higher. Father, we lift your name higher because of who you are, Lord. Because of who you are, Lord. You are so mighty and faithful. 
you are a glorious God. You are a mighty God. You are a faithful God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. We have served your name, Father. Blessed be that holy name, Lord. Blessed be that holy name, mighty Redeemer. Blessed be that holy name, faithful God. There is no God like you. There is no one but you. Father, we salute you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the adoration. Father, Lord, we lift your name higher. Thank you, mighty Father, King of glory. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, mighty man in battle. There is no one like you. We are compared to you, O Lord. Who is like unto thee, Lord? Jesus. You are so mighty and faithful. Mighty God, you are a glorious God. Blessed be thy name, Lord. Blessed be thy name, Lord. Blessed be thy holy name, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have your way, Rock of Ages. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. We are still going to continue to pray. We are now going to thank him for keeping us now. We are going to thank him for the power that he has opened our life, for what he has done for us to be here now, for what he has done for us not to be in the mortuary, for what he has done for us not to be in the sick bed, for what he has done for us not to be in there. We have to thank him. We have to lift up his name higher for what he has done for you and I to know this piece of truth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God, so Almighty, we Father, thank we you. give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord God, Almighty. Thank you, Lord God. We give you all the praise, Lord. We give you all the adoration, Father. We exalt your name, Lord God, Almighty. We exalt your name, Lord God, Almighty. Lord, we exalt your name. 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 We exalt your name, Lord. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, faithful God. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for preserving our lives. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Thank you for promotion. Thank you for the air we breathe in. Thank you for keeping us, oh Lord, having all sickness. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to be here, Lord. Thank you that we are around. Thank you for making us live in Thank you, Lord Jesus, Father. Father, for taking we give us you all the praise and adoration. Blessed be that holy name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 14, verse 3 said, They are all gone aside. They are all together become fitting. There is none that, that, that do it good. No one no one in in another side in in first john chapter one verse nine he said that if we confess our sin if we confess our sin if we faithfully confess our sin our god is also faithful to forgive us all our sin he is faithful to forgive us all our sins let me just quickly read the scripture he said Hallelujah. Yes, God. He said, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all of righteousness. We are going to pray. The scripture has already told us that there is no one good. We have all sinned. So let's go before the throne of grace and mercy and ask him for mercy. Ask God for mercy to forgive our sin in the mighty name of Jesus and clean us from all of for righteousness. Prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, in the name of the strong of Christ, in the name of the King of Glory, in the name of the Lord, 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 in Lord, have mercy on us, Lord God Almighty. Father, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins. Forgive us all our sins. And the sin we have committed. The conscience we all have committed. Father God Almighty, have mercy on us. 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 Have merc
Acts of Apostle chapter 2, verse 33. He said, Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promises of the Holy Ghost, he had shed for this which he he now see and hear. Hallelujah. You are going to invite the Holy Spirit to come and share those things, to come and handle what we are doing here. Without him, we can do nothing. We have that promise. The Lord has given it to us. And it's life in our life. We are going to welcome the Holy Spirit. We are going to welcome his person here to come and take control upon everything that we are doing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father God Almighty, Father, in the name of God, we welcome in our meeting in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we welcome, welcome the Holy Spirit of God. We welcome you. Come and have the Holy Spirit of God. We welcome you. We welcome you. We are highly welcome. You are highly welcome. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are welcome. We welcome you. We are welcome. Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in the book of uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13. He said, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. We are going to take the armor of God in us. All the armor of God from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh mighty Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, God Almighty, may you take control, oh Father, take control over our life, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, the all the armor of God from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Over us, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Praise and adoration, Lord. We exalt your holy name because we are coming from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Father, Lord, come and protect me with all the armor of God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, blessed be that holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Isaiah chapter 15, oh, verse 15. He said, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not bite me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. We are going to pray. Take authority upon any plan of the enemy. Wherever they have gathered against us, be it in the air, the land, or the city, let us overcome them by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, prayers. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord God Almighty, Father, we take authority. We take authority, O Lord God Almighty, over the plan of darkness, over any plan of the enemy, that cares us, be it in the air, the land, and the city. Father, we send the blood of Jesus, so wherever they are, so wherever they are, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus, overtake them, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God Almighty, in Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. We are going to commit the message and the messenger to God, we are going to ask God to feed his servant. To feel his servant to the breath and to beg her to release it all to us. 
in the name of Jesus and let any power of distraction, anything that wants to distract the servant of the Lord today, may God distract those things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we call the messenger and the message to you. We pray and ask you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, of Lord God Almighty, that Father, O Lord, we commit out to you. We pray that we will see our O Lord, as you see our Father, Lord God Almighty, let her release it to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come against any form of distraction to our O Lord, any form of distraction, Father, we cancel it with the blood of Jesus. We cancel it with the precious blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. Give us the spirit of meditation, members, oh Lord God Almighty. Teach us yourself, Almighty King, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, mighty man in battle. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let us ask God, let us commit the other activity of the ministry. Let us commit it to God. I'm talking about testimony, special number, choir, praise and worship and so on. Let us commit it to God and ask God to have his way to take control over it in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayers. Father God oh, Almighty, in the Father name of the Jesus. Jesus. Jehovah King of glory, Lord God Almighty. Father Lord God, we commit all the other activity of the ministry to you. We pray, O Lord God Almighty, that we will take control. We pray, O Lord God Almighty, that we will take control over it in the name of Jesus Christ. Take control over it, O Lord. Take control over it, O Almighty Redeemer. Take control all over it, O Father, in the name of Jesus. As we are to open your in the name of Jesus, Father, flow through them. Holy Spirit, flow through them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, have your way. Have your way in the testimony time, O Lord. Father, glorify yourself in the life of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Jehovah, King of Glory, we want to thank you today again. We praise the O Lord God Almighty for another Sunday. We thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to fellowship with you again. Father, Lord God Almighty, we commit everything we have to do to you. We pray, O Lord, that may you glorify yourself over us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, to the word, Father, may you feed your children. May you feed your children in the name of Jesus, for you are the strength of that word. Feed your children, Almighty Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, who commit all the other things that will happen to you, Father. I will praise you, O oh Lord, that may you take control over our tongue, O oh Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give, we give you all the praise, O oh Lord. We also pray that as we are servant, open our mouth to to preach, Lord. Let the word that will come out of my our mouth, Father, please you and glorify your name. Let those very words, O oh Lord, send the devil back to where they belong. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we we'll cover this place with the blood of Jesus. Our brethren online, we want to thank you for their life. I will pray, O oh Lord God Almighty, Father, that may you make that word alive in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. We we'll seal them also with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for those that are sick to join. Thank you for those that have John already, have your way, O oh Father. Glorify yourself, O oh King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare this service open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have opened. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, my more grace, more anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord right now. We are going for praise and worship. That is why Father God created you and I created you and I to worship him because he cannot give it to himself. He created you and I to worship him in the spirit and in the truth. Right now, we are going to worship our Father. We are going to praise Him and worship Him in Jesus' name. I would like us this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us let us call, call upon our choir. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen, Jesus. Our youth choir in Cameroon. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm not going to be to I lift up my voice to praise for all I know. Always there for me. 
always there for me, Almighty God. You are the all I own. No matter what it is, no matter what it is, let's assess from today, I will praise you. Today, 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 not tomorrow. Today, I will tell my voice in praise. Today, not tomorrow. Today. Jesus, you are worthy, worthy, worthy to be 
Yeah. 
my side, a very big god, oh, by my side, by my side. I have a very big god, oh, it's always by my side, a very big god, oh, by my side, by my side, a very big god, oh, it's always by my side, a very big god, oh, by my side, by my side. I have a very big god, oh, it's always by my side, a very big god, oh, by my side. All I have is given to me by the Lord. All I have is given to me by the Lord. All I have is given to me by the Lord. All I have is given to me by the Lord. All I have is given to me by the Lord. All I have is given to me by the Lord. All I have. It's given to me by the Lord. All I have is given to me by the Lord. Yes. All I have is given to me by the Lord. All I have is given to me by the Lord. All I have is given to me by the Lord. All I have is given to me by the Lord.
From beginning to the end, there is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God. From beginning to the end, there is no place for argument.
Letting him on me. Give you all the glory, all the honor, the praise. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be worshipped. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord increase you more, anointing more grace in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. <laughs> Our choir in Cameroon. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for the praise and worship. We bless His holy name in Jesus' name. Please. We are seeing mode. We are seeing the mode of uh, worshiping our Father Almighty God. Please, I uh, will call upon our youth in Cameroon, our choir, for the hymn, "Praise Master Jesus." May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Just a minute, please. Okay. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God. We thank God for this children's life. We really bless the name of the Lord. They are. They are a blessing. They are a blessing to this ministry. I know our God never live. Anyone that labor in the fine yard of Almighty God, Almighty God always reward them. God will reward these children abundantly in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. King of glory, we worship you. We worship you, our Lord. We worship you, our King, Almighty Redeemer. We say thank you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be magnified. So, praise Master Jesus. We thank God for God.
mighty savior mighty lord mighty king of glory awesome daddy praise master jesus we worship you lord we worship you we worship you our king we worship you our lord King of glory. We bless God for God. <clears throat> Praise Master Jesus. We are waiting for our youths in Cameroon for the hymn. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I should do as manifest to his bite in his last day. We have got the revelation by the last first message. As we know who we are and where we are is up for with the Lord. It's the original life, the original life. The original one is what I believe. The son of man is revealed the seven seed. It's our will, the original land, the original seed. Our eyes are understanding. He has opened up our now. Comes with victory, he has found you. You have changed in the past. Continue to be a sonder. And here we are responding. Praise the Lord. With the original love. The original love. The original sea. The original world. It's what I believe. Son of man. The son of man. It's revealed as seven seed. It's a bit of original land. The original seed. We are called unto adoptions of authority and power. And the sweet nature is a Who has seen my perfect with a seed? Let you know who we are and where we are. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The original Lord. The original Lord. The original Sea. The original Lord. It's what I believe. The Son of Man. The Son of Man. It's to build the seven seas. It's a bed. The original Lord. The original sea. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you all for the hymn. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord reward you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We worship him for who he, who he is, for being our God. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, I will call upon our brother, Rajasin, for Bible reading. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. I read 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 to 8. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, which thou judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, with all long suffering and doctrine. Doxing, but after their own loss, shall they heed to themselves, teachers, 
having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto favour. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make a full proof of thy ministry, for I am now ready to be offered, and time of the departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me the day. And I'm not the only, but unto all them also loved is appearing for me. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you, our brother, more, more anointing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. The book of Second Timothy, the, the book of Second Timothy 4 from 1 to 8. We bless the name of the Lord. Father, I thank God for the word of God. May the Lord bless you for us to preach the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. As, as he said, Apostle Paul says here that uh, he fought a good for the, the good uh, fighter. He fought uh, the good uh, fight of faith. And he has finished. I thank God for God. And we thank God. May the Lord give us the grace, all of us, to fight the good fight of faith. In the name of that day, you and I will see our master, our savior, our redeemer in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you, our brother, brother Jason. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We thank God for God. Amen. So well, it's time for testimony. Testimony time, blessing time. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I am most grateful. I really appreciate the name of the Lord God to see. My wonderful, beautiful family in the Lord with long life and good health and good condition to the glory of God. Amen. Thank God for keeping us alive. We give God a praise with all what is happening in the world today. We really appreciate, really, really, really be grateful to God. Thank him so much. I thank him for his mercy, for his love, for his protection. It's all about him. I have to say thank you, Jesus, for, the, for, for his children under our care, for his protection, our families. I want to give God all the praise. I appreciate him so much for his divine protection. And I thank God for the for the for the for the the the, the grace he's given unto us for the salvation of our soul. Amen. I really want to appreciate God. I really want to be grateful to God. I tell myself sometimes, Justina, without God, you are nothing. Without God, it is swept. I want to appreciate him. He understands much. I return all the glory to him. Amen. And I thank God. I thank him also for the faith, the grace, the, st the steadfastness of my brethren and team to the glory of God. I want to appreciate God for his courage. It's a great journey indeed. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Thank God for his mercy that is always ahead of us. I give him all the praises. Let his name alone be praised forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to give a, a song to my daddy to thank him, to appreciate him. That God, I am grateful. I am grateful, Lord. Father, you are wonderful. Jesus, God of mercy. Lord, I am grateful, Lord Jesus. I am grateful, oh Lord. Father, you are wonderful, Jesus, God of mercy. I am really, really, really grateful to you. I am grateful, oh Lord. You 
are wonderful, Jesus, God of mercy. Father, I appreciate your name, Lord. I appreciate you, Lord. Daddy, you are wonderful, Jesus, God of mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you, my sister. We are so happy to have you back again. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you and your family more grace, more strength in the name of Jesus Christ. May Amen. the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are really grateful for the salvation of our soul. Money cannot buy it. Is the grace of God. We bless his holy name for blessing us with the with, with our salvation and for with the salvation of our soul. We bless his holy name. Amen. Testimony time. Blessing time. Praise Master Jesus. Testimony time. I know all of us we got a testimony. God woke us up this morning is a testimony. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless God for God. Testimony time, blessing time. We are waiting. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So I will give my testimony. I bless the name of the Lord. I just want to thank God for keeping me alive, keeping my husband, my children alive, my family alive, every one of us in this ministry, every member of this ministry, I just thank God for each and every one of us. We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for God. No bad thing, no bad news. No, no, no bad news. I, with, I thank God. I bless the name of the Lord for another beautiful, glorious day. He's worthy. He's worthy. I really appreciate what he's doing in my life, my family, sir. I bless his holy name. In Jesus' name. That is my testimony. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. So, no other testimony? Okay. Praise Master Jesus. So, we are going to welcome our our followers online, online, we are, and uh, we thank of the newcomers and uh, our all of us in the, in the forum. We are going to welcome each and every one of us here in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We welcome all our followers online. We may the Lord bless you for tuning in and listening. I, we believe God Almighty is doing wonders in your life. May the Lord bless you all for joining, for tuning in. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. We first welcome our newcomer before we call the rest by the grace of God in Jesus' name. I welcome our sister, uh, uh, Ten Tenon, C.A. And may the Lord bless you for joining us. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I, welcome and I, I welcome our brother himself, O. Ogara, Ogari, Father, I'm sorry to, to pronounce it if I don't pronounce it right. Uh, he, uh, he said, may the Lord bless you, my brother, for joining, for tuning in. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I welcome Evangelist uh, Mary. May the Lord bless you, ma. Welcome Evangelist John. May the Lord bless you, ma. In Jesus, more grace for the word that you are doing in the vineyard of God. May the Lord reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Welcome all the our choir, the youth, uh, our youth choir in Cameroon. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I welcome uh, uh, Pastor James. May the Lord bless you, sir, for joining. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I uh, welcome our brother, our big brother. Hallelujah. Brother Samuel, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I welcome our sister, Sister Justina. May the Lord bless you. 
bless you and your family more grace more strength in jesus name amen, amen. Hallelujah. i welcome our sister sister testimony you are a testimony in jesus name. may the lord bless you sister and god so may amen. the lord bless you <laughs> hallelujah amen. we bless the name of the lord i welcome the brad jesse may the lord bless you brad jesse you are just a blessing you are a blessing may the lord bless you return in jesus name amen so i welcome myself Oh, sorry, I welcome a sister Plamedi. May the Lord bless you, my sister. We will not forget you in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. So right now, this is the time we are waiting for. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are waiting for the word of God. As Father God says in his word, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. It's what you and as a child of God we eat. Father God, we bless his holiness. So we are going to pray for the woman of God, whom God is going to use to be a blessing to us. We are going to pray for her, for more anointing, for God to put uh, his word in, in her mouth, for God to open her spiritual ear to hear his voice. And she's, uh, she's uh, almighty God is speaking for her to hear and repeat exactly what God is saying to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Every flesh to die. Only the spirit of the Lord shall speak in Jesus' name. Let us pray for the woman of God in Jesus' name. Let us pray for her. Oh, Lord, my Father, oh, Lord, my God. We give you all the glory of the honor, the praise of America. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, Almighty God, we thank you, everlasting Father, for your servant's life, for your choosing her to be a blessing to us, America. And our Almighty God, we commit unto your hands, America. And our Almighty God, put your word in our mouth, Almighty God, and anoint our voice, anoint our lips, Almighty God. But anoint our fresh in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord. And I open our to you and hear, Almighty God, to hear your voice. As you seek a help, to repeat what you are saying in the name of Jesus, my Father. Oh, Lord Jesus, let the Every flesh in the name of only your spirit speak in the name of Jesus, our my Father. And as they send it, may your warrior angel to encamp around her right now in the name of Jesus. We cover her with the blood of Jesus. We cover the word that comes from, from your true room with your special blood of Jesus, our Father. And speak to each and every one of us through her mighty God in the name of Jesus, our Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We bless you only. We exalt you only, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. So I will welcome our evangelist, our leader. May the Lord bless you, my evangelist, Mary. May the Lord bless you, my. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Happy Sunday. Our leader is the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Is the one that teaching us everything that you are doing. We don't know anything in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, King of glory. We thank you, Shed of day I am that I am. Father, we thank you for giving us, O Lord, Father, for granting us opportunity to see this wonderful Sunday, O Lord, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you, O Lord Jesus, Father, since we woke up until now, we have not get any bad news. You protect our family, Father, we are so grateful. Father, thank you, O Lord Jesus, Father, for the sun that you are making us to see. Father, we thank you, O Lord Jesus, Father, for everything that you have provided for us, O Lord, Father, since morning till this moment, in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, thank you for the internet. Thank you for the light. Father, we thank you, O Lord, Father, for the brief of life. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. Father, we also thank you for the word of God. As you say in your word that the man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds in the mouth of God. Father, we are here to listen to, the, to this word, to feed our inner man, O Lord Jesus. Father, the only food we can give our inner man is your word, O Lord. Father, come and talk to us. Father, as I present before you, O Lord, I present myself before you as a Lord. As a simple vessel, O Lord, Father, use me as you want to use me. Oh Lord, Father, put your word in my mouth, oh Lord. Anoint my tongue, oh Lord, Father, to deliver the message the way you want me to deliver it, oh Lord. Baptize my tongue, oh Lord, Father, with your fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Father, silence every flesh in me, oh Lord. Father, silence every knowledge that I have on my own, Father. Activate, oh Lord Jesus, Father, your own. Holy Spirit, come and take over, talk through me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as you are talking through my mouth, oh Lord, Father, open the spiritual ears of your children, oh Lord Jesus, Father, prepare their heart also to receive this word, oh Lord, so that they will not be the hearer only, but they will be the doer of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your name be glorified in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Uh, our message today is based of the the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. I'm not going through before they came out because this is not where 
our message of today is based is based after they coming before they start facing all the other challenges hallelujah so i'm reading exodus 13 exodus 13 verse 17 to 18 it's always good when the when the minister of god or pastor or anybody that is preaching when you call the bible verse you just also be ready to open your bible and to verify whatever the bible verse is talking don't just listen to what the preacher is talking because the preacher can make a mistake but if you are if you have your bible there you can easily identify the mistake and also correct it on your own through the leadership of the holy spirit because most of the time i used to be like that when i go to church i'll just listen to what the preacher is talking without verifying and i don't know whether they are they are lying or they are doing whatever they are doing hallelujah so going back to our scripture is chapter uh, exodus uh, chapter 13 verse i'll start from 17 to 18 because we don't want to because of our time let us start so that you understand what god have have for us today hallelujah i read in jesus name and it came to pass when pharaoh has let uh, has let the people go that god led them not through the way of the land of the philistines although that was the near that was near for God said, lest by adventure the people repent when they see war, and they return to Egypt. But God led people about through the way of the wilderness to the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up hardness, went uh, went up hardness out of the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. So we can see here the word of god is so clear so when god gave them the promise to come out of egypt to come out from the land of egypt there was a short way of making it to canaan it was a short way but god decided not to take them to that short way that short way they could have stayed weeks they could have stayed months or even days but god said i will not take them that way they are not prepared to face to face the Philistines. They are not ready to face the Philistines because if they have to face the Philistines, they will be weak and they will go back where they are coming from. Because they cannot stand the challenge that is waiting for them in that short way. So let me prepare them by showing them the long way, but it's the right way. So our topic today is why the long way? Why the long way? In everything that we do, why the long way? Why do we have to wait for long? Why do we have to face hardness to get to the promise that is waiting for us? Because it's our promise. We deserve it. But why come? How come we don't get it straight away? Why? Because there is a training. We have to learn something. We have to pass through training. So, I call wilderness as a school where you learn how to face so many challenges and how to learn how to overcome them all. You learn the fear of God in the wilderness. You learn how to drop your pride in the wilderness. You learn how to stop everything that is not pleasing God in the wilderness. You cannot just carry everything that you get from the bondage of Egypt from the land of slavery you cannot get all those uh, um, fake gods that you have borrowed from egypt to go all the way to the promised land we need to drop them somewhere you need to select them hallelujah the first challenge is to leave egypt which is the world when you come to christ when you come to christ you give your life to christ we rejoice we have this extra joy that comes over it brings peace whatever situation you may face yourself before you come to christ there is always that release in your situation but after this it doesn't stop there after this you have a promise that you have to you have a promised land that you have to reach you have to get there but for you to get to that promised land for you to get to that promised land we need to learn how to fight the enemy that are there in a way that are blocking you from getting to the promised land. 
And you cannot fight those enemies without experience. You cannot fight those enemies if you don't know the power that can protect you. In this case, we are talking about God. Listen to what the Bible says in 21. We see in chapter 13, in 21 to 22, it says, And the law went before them, although it gave them the, the long way that they have to face the Red Sea. They have to face the Pharaoh with his, um, his uh, um, um, how do you call them? Is the chariots they came after them, but God knew that as they are going through this hard moment, they will need me. As you are going to this stage of purification, I call it cleansing, spiritual cleansing, purification. You need to be purified, you need to be cleansed from all the filthiness you carry from the land of Egypt. You have to cleanse yourself from it, and you need God to lead you. You cannot do it alone. All we need is to acknowledge that God is always with us. No matter the situation you may find yourself, we can doubt that oh, God abandoned me. God never abandoned. Listen to what he said in 21. He said, and the Lord went before them by the day in the pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and the night in the pillar of fire. To do what? To give them light. To go by day and night. He took not away the pillar, the pillar of the cloud by day, or the pillar of fire by night from before the people. So it was with them. So when you give your life to Christ, we all believe that yes, everything is fine, but we never expect the challenge that you come after. We never think of the challenge that we have to face. It's not about giving your life to Christ only, but it's about to walk. That's why the Bible says, walk out your salvation, because we need to walk it out before you get into the promised land that is waiting for us. When they was inside Egypt suffering, they cried to God, and God sent Moses to come and took, take them out of Egypt. But they knew, all they knew that Pharaoh let them go. When we give our life to Jesus, the power in our Father's house, they are not happy that you are living. They will come after us. They will try to frustrate us in the way that we regret even leaving them. Let's, let's read um, Exodus 14. Let's start from 10. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. They were so afraid, and the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. 11. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt that with us, to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the world that we, uh, we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians. We may serve Egyptians, for it is, had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than we should die in the wilderness. Did you see that? 13 says, And Moses said unto, unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show, you, will show to you today. For the Egyptian whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. You see how challenge can do. Those people, after leaving the Egypt, they was rejoicing, singing, you know, praying, until they see themselves facing the Red Sea. Until they hear the noise of Pharaoh behind them. As the children of God, most of us, as the followers of Christ, most of us, we have faced this situation. Or some of them are even still facing that situation. You find your situation, all you can see is the Red Sea. And you're thinking, how am I going to cross it? There's no hope. There's no way out. The next minute you are seeing Pharaoh behind you, the power in your father's house frustrating you, frustrating, uh, frustrating you. And you are seeing, who will take me out of this situation? 
The very God that take you out of Egypt. The very God that show you salvation and, and freedom in Egypt is still with you. It's the same God that is going to open the Red Sea. We should not question God how this, the, the, the solution will come. Because sometimes we think our own ways of having solution. But God also has his own different way. That's why he sent us sometimes in a long way. A way of a training is not a way of punishment, a way of training. Because we need to be trained how to trust God. We need to be trained how to know Him and believe Him. And the only way we can know Him is through passing through all this experience. To pass it all through this experience. You cannot have victory without challenge. We cannot have promotion without trials. It's impossible. We need to pass through all this experience. We need to pass through all these hard moments. That's exactly what God wanted the children of Israel to know. That is with them. He's the one that took them out. It's not to abandon them, but he needed to test them. Did these people really know me? After the miracle that I did in Egypt, after what I made them, God did not just take them free easily. He wanted to reveal himself. Who is he? that he taking them out of the land of bondage. Look at these people. They were in Egypt suffering. They were in G Egypt without hope. Without anybody, no right. They were suffering. They was not eating well. They was passing through many challenges. They were suffering a lot. But when it came to the first challenge, after leaving, after the first victory, the first challenge, they start doubting God. They start to regret what they left in Egypt. Many people, you come to Christ. Before you come, you was living a, a, a certain life that you was having things. It was easier for you. Maybe you have this ungodly go job that you were doing. And now God tell you that is the time of separation. You need to drop it. And you are thinking, if I leave it. How am I going to survive? By the time you start fast, facing challenges, hey, you wake up like this, there's nothing to, to eat. You start to regret it. Oh, at least in that job, eh, I never stay without sleep, without eating. Ah, at least in that day, I always to do this. You start to regret it. Instead of seeing God in that situation, you start doubting God. You start questioning yourself. You think that God has abandoned you. In the very critical situation, that's exactly what happened to the children of Israel. They start, they forgot every miracle that God ever did to Egypt. In Egypt, sorry. They forgot everything. They forgot the first, the first victory God gave them. They forgot about it. They was only focusing in the problem that they were seeing in their eyes. And many times we focus in our own problem and we forgot to, to see God through that situation. What did God want me to learn in this situation? What did God want me to learn? You understand? After, after uh, we separate ourselves with the, the, the powers of our father's house, for us to go to the promised land, we need to make sure that we are clean enough and we know where we are going and we know the challenges that we need to face. If God revealed to them that as you are leaving the promised land, you still have to face these challenges that uh, uh, you have to, fa to, to, to face the Red Sea and remember Pharaoh will come after you and after, uh, after you cross the Red Sea, you have to face the Amorites, you have to face all other pe uh, people you need to fight. They will say, no, 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 no. It's better to continue serving the Egyptian here. We don't want to leave because I don't want to face that, 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 that kind of power. You understand? But God gave them, God did not tell them, he gave them Moses to prepare them. Hallelujah. So, God told Moses, I thank God for Moses. Even Moses, for him to come to that level, he needed to get through training. When Moses left Egypt, God needed to send him to, 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 to Jethro's house, where he had to learn how to be a shepherd, how to lead the sheep. 
You needed to, to learn how to be patient with the sheep. So that when God will use him to be the leader of the children of Israel, he will be patient enough to learn to 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 to, to, to be with to be with them because of their complaint, because of their murmuring, because of the way they complain in everything. I never seen people complaining like this honestly. With everything they have seen in their hearts, they keep on doubting, doubting, complaining, complaining, murmuring after God. And each time the mom of God will do something to reveal himself to them, but it's like the spiritual blindness of these people was so thick that they couldn't even see a little miracle that God was giving to, uh, uh, doing in their midst to reveal that I never abandon your people, I'm always with you. Hallelujah. So that's why Moses said, Fear ye not. That those Egyptians that you are seeing, those they are making noise. You shall see them no more because God is going to deliver you in that situation. All God wants is just to cleanse you. You are in that sickness. That sickness is not to lead you to death. It is not for you to die in that sickness. God just wants to reveal himself through that sickness. But that, that thing that is making you to, like, to suffer is not a suffering. Let me tell you something. You know, people that don't like challenge. People don't like try. People like everything to be easy. And there's nothing like easy if you want to enter into the kingdom of God. That's why Jesus said, if you want to come after me, carry your cross daily. Cross is something, it's not easy to carry. It's heavy. Cross represents so many things. You have to carry it. You have to feel the hardness of that, that cross. So that you know that that cross is, is our sin that we are carrying there. Imagine now, you cannot carry your own cross because it's heavy. And what about our Lord Jesus that have to carry the, the sin of everybody in one cross? Imagine how heavy was it. But he never complained about that. He carried it. And he was crucified on it. So that you and I will be free. There is nothing like easy. There is nothing like easy. You have to drop it. You feel pain when you have to drop. The children of Israel, after the first victory, they came out of each. each they have to face. They, they have to face the. They have to suffer the persecution from Pharaoh. They have to face the persecution from of Pharaoh. Pharaoh did not leave them until he persecuted them, until they have to find themselves without any way out. But God is God that make a way even when it seems to be no way. God will make a way for the love that he has for his children. He will make a way in every situation. He make a way. He opened the door. The doors of opportunity. The door of salvation. Even if you find yourself inside the darkness, inside the pit, God can still bring you out of that pit because of his mercy. Because of his mercy, he was able to remove Jonah inside the belly of fish under the deep sea, the deep waters, because of his mercy. So that's exactly what he did. We should not get desperate. Every situation you find yourself, when you look in front of you, you see the Red Sea. You look behind you, all you are hearing is the noise of a pharaoh coming after you. And you are asking if not you, God, who will take me out of this, this situation? Up, it's the time that we need to look up. That is the time that you have to look into heaven to say, God, I'm in this situation because you want me to be in this situation. What do you want me to learn? If you wanted the Egyptian to kill me, you will not take me out of Egypt. Probably you have a way out for me. I drop everything to follow you, Lord. It's time to show yourself to me. I need deliverance, Father. Deliver me. Deliver me, Lord. You promised me a promised land, and I must get into that promised land. Anything that is standing on my way, Father, you will deliver me from it. That's exactly what happened to the children of Israel. God revealed himself. He trained Moses for that. And for Moses to get to that training, it took him 40 years. 40 years. He needed to learn so that he can be in a position to teach others. So he can be in a position to teach others. 
you know, to teach them. If you have to quickly go to uh, Act, Act 24, Act 24, oh sorry, Act 7, the book of Act 7. So the Act 24, uh, oh, I'm in the wrong book, sorry. Act 24 verse, um, ah, sorry. I come against every spirit of destruction in the name of Jesus. Act 7, 23. Act 7, 23. Act 7, 23 says, Acts 7, 23. Yeah, hallelujah. And when he was full of 40 years old, he came into his heart to visit his brethren and, and the children of Israel and see on, on see one of them so far wrong, he defended him and avenged him that was oppressed and the smooth Egyptian. You see, Moses was, he had this, the... the he have anger. He was struggling with anger. So when he, he now came, like he was 40 years, he already start understanding that it is not an Egyptian. It's not an Egyptian, uh, but it's a uh, Hebrew. So he wanted to visit, he went to visit his people. So he wanted uh, 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 how to be closer to them. He wanted to, you know, maybe wanted to reveal himself as a priest that you people should not see me as a Egyptian uh, priest, but I'm one of you. Maybe that is the time that he met them, the two, uh, the Egyptian uh, beating Hebrew, and he was so hungry that he could not even advise or to separate them. He just killed one of them. And because of that, he needed to run. And at that running of, of Moses, he had to face also wilderness. Where he had to drop everything of his, like everything that was making him to be priest. Or they were respecting him. They was idolatering him in Egypt. He needed to drop his pride and to run and to become like a normal person without any title. Without any title, and he end up in the house of Jethro, one of the priests, to, to do what? To train him how to be a shepherd, how to be a good leader. And it's through this, uh, doing this work that God has to encounter him. When God saw that he's prepared enough, he was prepared enough to go back to the assignment God has called, has called him from. It's when now God appeared to, to him. It's when now God appeared to him, you understand, and to give him the assignment to go back to bring the children of Israel. He needed to, to train him how to be humble. Because with that anger, it was impossible to, to stand the children of Israel. The children of Israel, they were so bad and annoying. Sometimes you yourself, you are reading it in the Bible, you get upset. Why these people are like that? Imagine that Moses that was facing them day and night. He had to handle them day and night. It was not easy. A child of God, a leader, you have to, tra to, to be trained out to be patient. You have to be trained out to be, to be humble. You have to be trained so many things. How to go after. Imagine, he, he left the other ship because he noticed that one was lost. And he was going after the one. Exactly how he met our, he met God. And God now, he started to teach him. The thing that he needed to learn and they give him the assignment to go back now we children of god when we come to god we don't know anything we don't know anything like bible we don't know anything like the holy spirit like i was listening to a testimony this uh, brother was a minister he, he, got, uh, he was he had he was a, a singer he was in a choir member he was he was singing very well he, they were doing the, the concert it was in the Christian dumb for 35 good years, but she never knew the meaning of hellfire. How can this be possible? He never heard about hellfire, but it was in the house of God. He was saving God through music until God showed him mercy and appeared to him. 
He was so surprised that God led him to somebody. Listen to this. The, this man that was 30, 35 years. This man that was 35 years, 35 years in the house of God. I mean, he was a Christian for 25 years. But he was not born again. And God led him to somebody to train him. And this person was only 5 years. And the man was like, Oh, how can I tell this woman? She's only five years. It is like a baby Christian. How can he teach me that I'm 35? But he have to teach you because you, although you were there for 35, but you don't know anything that she knows. You don't know anything that you know. You understand? In this wilderness, the people that, that Moses led to come out with him, in the, to come out with him, they was, some of them they were older than him. They were older than him. You understand? It doesn't matter. It's about grace. God will show grace to him. He wants to show grace. One thing, even if God has called you, you still have to pass through training. He still has to train you. He still has to teach you things to know, to, for you to know. When God calls somebody, you don't just jump into your position that uh, God has put me as a pastor, then for the next day I start preaching. No, you have to learn the word of God. You have to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. God is the one that you have to prepare you to say that, yes, now you are ready. Now you are qualified. He's preparing you because he knows the challenges to come. You'll be prepared for those challenges. You'll be able to stand those challenges. And you know how to keep calm in time of trouble. And you know how to acknowledge God by remembering the promise of God through that situation. That's exactly what Moses said. Did Moses knew God more than all of them because he had an encounter with God. He gave the instruction from God. That's why when the trouble came, he was not focusing on that trouble. He was seeing God in that situation because he knows that God, he told me to take these people in the promised land. He never told me that when I take them to out of Egypt, they will die in the wilderness. They will die in the Red Sea. That's why God remember. When you touch God in his promise, God is there because God knows how to honor his word more than his name. He said that, yes, I say so. When you find yourself in a situation that the enemy want to frustrate you through that sickness, he want to kill you, you say, no, 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 no. God, you cannot allow this to happen to me. Remember you told me I have to go to so, so, so and do your work. How can I go there with this situation that I find myself? That's how God will come and glorify himself god would like us to acknowledge him in the situation that we see that there is no way out that is the situation we need to drop everything to drop our own knowledge in the wilderness even when you pass through red sea you still have to face the wilderness that is waiting for you and this wilderness end is the school that you have to graduate in your faith you have to graduate by knowing God. You have to graduate by increasing fire in your prayer altar. It is not wilderness. Because everything that you brought from Egypt, it will dry in that wilderness. It will spoil in that wilderness. It will you will lose it in that wilderness. Wilderness is the place that you cannot bring all just your filthiness from the Egypt and you think that you take it in the promised land. That's why God took them that way, the long way for them to drop all this complaining, murmuring, all those things that they were carrying with them. All those idolatry that they learned in Egypt, they carry it there. You know, when I came to holiness, when I came to holiness, in me, in my opinion, I, I thought it's just to drop all the ungodly thing. Makeup, trouser, all this uh, fake hair, dropping all those uh, property of the enemy. In my body, in the one that I was keeping in my wardrobe, I never knew that my house was full of the properties of the enemy. And I needed to get rid of it. You understand? Listen to this. When I, before I come to holiness, I was a hairdresser. I was selling makeups. I was selling fake hair. Not this Brazilian hair, Indian hair. I was selling it. So I was selling the product of bleaching. I 
was selling the product of bleaching. I was selling so many ungodly things. You understand? I was selling so many ungodly things. And this ungodly thing that I was selling, it because it was part of my job. I have salon. People will come and undo their hair and they'll give me money. And all those ungodly things, it can make your, your life to be like a easier that is the easier way the enemy will make you for you to gain money and that money that easiest way to get money is the easiest way also to approach your hellfire without knowing you understand it's making you far from heaven and approaching you closer to hellfire now through this thing i was able to buy all the stuff that i needed in my house I, it was easier to buy everything that I needed because I needed a life that, you know, it was when I was in the world, I want to, when people are coming to see me, they have to say, wow, your, your house is beautiful. You know, I like all those fancy things, all those wow things. When somebody enter your house, you see that, oh, your house, I like that. I, I used to like those kind of people to be appreciating, you understand, to be to be lost after my house something like that so you can imagine you are getting all this money sometime a week i can find myself with 300 500 without counting my other money my money that i was getting every month you understand so i used to buy you can imagine now me having all this money i can buy everything that i want even the expensive one when I come to holiness, I start from all that that is obvious. Drop your makeup, drop your drop your makeup, drop all, all this ungodly thing, drop all uh, this thing, which I did. I cleaned my house, but I forgot to, to remove. I forgot to remove. I, I was not thinking about my chairs. I was not thinking about my TV. I was not thinking about my fridge, my microwave, even the, everything that I bought with that money. I'm telling you, you should not play with God. Everything we we play with that money, everything that I bought with that ungodly money, it got lost. It was destroyed in my house. I'm giving you a living testimony. So when I came, first I stopped selling all those things because I have to throw it out. After throwing it out, it was like the first year my TV gets spoiled. My TV gets spoiled. Then I did not have any work. I was not doing anything. My TV gets spoiled. Everything get, gets spoiled. <clears throat> my chairs start cheering. Start cheering in the way that even when you sit down, you are uncomfortable. Even when you sit down, you are uncomfortable. So, when the, when the TV gets spoiled, the freezer gets spoiled. The TV gets spoiled. The TV also gets spoiled. Every, everything in my kitchen, it starts from the freezer, the fridge, the cooker, everything. Just give me a few seconds, please. Sorry for distraction. So, my freezer gets spoiled, my fridge gets spoiled, my microwave, my cooker. So, I have to, to walk like a long distance for me to go and cook to my friend's house. It was so tough to me. I was asking God, why all these things? I'm in holiness, I'm serving God, I'm not living a sinful life. Why all my things, including my bed? I was putting mattress. <laughs> you don't know what God can do. If my one of my friends gave it came to he have to give me a mattress for me even to put everything get how this happened I don't know but all I know God did not want any ungodly thing that I took from Egypt to stand with me as I was preparing my way to to enter the promised land everything gets but I have to throw everything my house become from zero it has started from zero everything. And I did not have money to buy it. I was struggling. And it was that period that they had to, to cut all my benefits. They cut all my benefits, the children, money, everything. I did not have anything. No, not even money to pay my rent. 
I needed to pass through that wilderness to learn in a very hard moment so that my pride will go. My way of lusting after the thing of the world to go. I have to give up everything. Everything in the house. The one that to go. To. I have this uh, big uh, fish tank. I have the tropical fish tank. Very big. I mean very big. I have those fish that he was laying eggs inside. Multiplying. I have a lot of fish inside. A sister called me. He said, I have a revelation about you. That it was my passion. Even when I was in, uh, I was since I was young, I needed a fish tank in my house because I like to see fish. I like, you know, to have pests. This is my passion to have a fish tank, and my fish tank was so good. It was so good that everybody that enter my house will be looking. They will have their time before they sit down. Say, wow, oh your fish, oh this one. Now somebody telling me that. If you want to make heaven, you have to obey God. They have to give it. It pains my heart. It pains my heart. I didn't want. I didn't want to give it up. They say you are inviting the queen of the course to the spirit of the Marie spirit in your house. You have to let it go. When I was taking that fish tank out of my house, I was crying because it was so strong. It was, it was like my passion was like uh, I was thinking of the money I spent on it, and I was thinking because one of the fish, one fish, those that you used to have at the, the, the fish tank, they know what I'm talking. You can buy one fish 50 pounds. You can buy another fish 60 because each fish have different price. Now, see all those fish there. You are seeing money, and you have to throw it away. That is the wilderness. You cannot take this thing in the promised land. Everything that you take to you took to Egypt, you have to go there. Stop regretting it. Stop regretting it. You have to let it go. Everything has to spoil. Then God now will give you the new one. You have to start at fresh with you. That's why we take it take us a long way, a way of learning. How to start loving God more than all this. Because everything that you brought in Egypt is idolatry. Imagine I was finding it difficult to drop something that... It, it was my idol. It was my idol. I love that fish tank. I needed to show God that I love him more than that fish tank. I needed to show God that I love him more than everything that I ever get in my house. It was my idols. I was worshipping it. And I needed to get rid of it. Anything that you love more than God, you have to drop it in the wilderness. Everything that is taking the life of God in your life, in your, in your life, you have to drop it in that wilderness. God knows us better than ourselves. That's why he's not taking us a shortcut. He's not taking us a shortcut. We are not ready. Because if you are not bold in the word of God, if you don't learn the fear of God in the wilderness, you will not learn how to fight the power in your father's house. Because wilderness is the, is, the, is the place that you need to learn how to fight those powers, the power in your flesh, the power in your body. I mean, you have to fight pride in you. You have to fight arrogance in you. You have to fight unforgiveness in you. You have to fight bitterness in you all this all the armor rights of today they are inside your body the children of god face they have to face the armor right the intertimes the all those the, the parasites they have to face them even the whole of jericho they needed to pull it down so that they can see the promised land now all these things they are inside you you have to fight them inside you that anger that bitterness, that arrogance. You need to face the wilderness for those things to go. You need to learn how to fight them. You need to learn how to destroy them. If not, they will destroy you. And you end up... There are not how many children of Israel that came out of Egypt. They never smell or even see the gate of a promised land. Why? Because God destroyed them inside the wilderness. Because they was not able to overcome the power in their father's house. They was not able to overcome those Amorites that was fighting them. The work of the flesh. They end up dying because they were sinning against God continuously. 
The Bible says, after coming to the knowledge of truth, if you sin willfully, there is no more sacrifice. Jesus will not come and die for you again in that cross. He will not come again because you already shared the grace. He already shared the grace through his blood. The Bible said the grace that appears, the grace that brings salvation appears to all men to teach us how to deny those ungodliness. How do you teach us? You have to face the wilderness for you to learn from that wilderness. It will teach you how to deny all this ungodliness, how to stop murmuring, how to stop complaining, how to get rid of these things that is blocking you from entering into your promised land. That is the, way, the reason why we have to face the long way of our life. What is that situation that you see like God has abandoned you? You are only focusing on the Red Sea. You are only focusing in the Egyptian behind you. But you are not seeing God on it. The God that do all those great miracles for you to come out of Egypt, for Pharaoh to let you go. It's the same God. He has power to open the Red Sea. He has power to take you out of that situation. Keep on trusting Him. God wants us to trust Him. But we cannot just say, God, I love you. I trust you. You have to prove it. Anytime you want to say something, you have to mean it. You have to prove it. God said, do you love me? Okay, I'll put you in a situation. I want to see how long you will love me. That is the case of Job. You really trust me. I have to put you in the situation. For me to see whether you really trust me. That's why you see many people, they fail the test. Just like the children of Israel. They was continuously failing the test that God was putting them. And only few that enter into the promised land. We need to be very careful. Many, all of them, they had the promise. All of them, they had the promise to see the promised land. God said, I will take you out of Egypt to take you to show you the promised land where you will not suffer when you see the milk and honey. But most of them, they did not get to eat it. They did not even get to enter. Why? Because of their disobedience. All of us, grace appeared to us. Jesus gave us a promise that I'm going to prepare the place for you and I will come back again. But I will prepare for it. Are we going to see it? How many of us are going to see it? Because of all our disobedience. We do, although we are already in the wilderness, we are still fighting against the will of God in our life. We are still challenging God's will in our life by disobeying the word of God. May the Lord give us the grace in this long period that he gave us. Some people say that, ah, forget about rapture. My grandmother used to talk about it. He died without seeing it. My so 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 died with die without seeing it. Yes, that is the reason why God gave us a long way, because He wants you now to start believing. The distance since your ma your grandmother talked about it. How close are you to that day? They did not see it, but you are closer to see it. Are you prepared for it? Are you prepared for it? Am I prepared for it? We need to train. How to obey. You need to be trained how to fight. And how to fight. The only language Satan understands is the word of God. We need to learn through the word of God how to fight the power that is disturbing us. The power that is waiting for us. When you give our life to Jesus, we think that everything is over. Ah, it's okay. By the time you start to sing challenge, ah, you are sin against God. You forgot the word of God. You forgot the word of God. You start questioning God. You start doubting God. God said that he never removed the pillar of cloud that was during the day. Neither the pillar of fire to give them light in the night. Whatever situation you face yourself, don't ever try to doubt God because he's there to protect. Maybe that situation was to kill you. But God make you just to feel the temperature of it. And you are complaining. If God is with me, why did he allow this to happen? I will not lie to you. I say the same thing. Because you are listening it through testimony. You don't know the impact of it. Because I'm telling you, but some of the sisters here, they saw me when I was passing through my wilderness. They saw me when I was facing my Red Sea. They can say that, yes, I was there. I will not lie to you. It is hard. It is hard. Even the Bible says so. In the hardness way. But they learn. Those that was able to learn. 
Joshua was able to learn, obtain the grace of God. Caleb was able to learn, he obtained the, 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 the favor of God. Those that was able to learn, they make it to the promised lands. May the Lord give us the grace to make it also into the promised land. By doing what? By obeying the word of God. There is no way you be a child of God and you are planning and you have the promise of making it to heaven without facing the challenge. The challenge will make you to cry. The challenge will make you to, to feel pain. It's part of your promise. It is part of your promise. You have to pass through there. You have to learn. Moses has to drop all he has. And we are talking about priests. So after the king, it was him, he was respect, he was respected in Egypt, he was honored in Egypt. But when he comes for his salvation, when he comes for his life, he ran abandoning all behind and he starts all over from zero. He starts doing the, the job that people used to say that me, me as a priest, I cannot do it. I cannot do this kind of job. But he needed to learn through that job how to do. The assignment God was preparing to him. At times we face ourselves in a situation that they need to, to humiliate us. They need to humiliate you for that pride of me. Are you talking to me? Do you know who I am? Who you are? Nobody cares. Who cares who you are? But you need to get to a level that even the person that you think that he cannot even is not in the position I, I heard people talking. <laughs> you, you are talking to me like this. I rob. In Africa, you cannot even come near me to greet me because you see how great I am in Africa. Who cares? You can be great in Africa, but you are nothing when it comes to the things of God. You need to break that pride. You need to become nothing for God to make you something. You need to become nobody for God to make you somebody. You need to pass through wilderness where you, you drop your pride. You drop your arrogance. You become humble. You talk as everybody. You forget about your title. You become everybody. Then God will elevate you among those people. And he will make you to the level that he himself he wants you to get. That is our God. We need to pass through training. Ah, why long way? Why, why my own is like this? Eh? So, so, so. When my, when I was in the world, I was even better. Just like the children of Israel, he said, it's better to leave us to continue to serve the Egyptian than to take us out to come and die in this wilderness. Wilderness is hard. Probably for them, wilderness was even harder than the slavery they were doing for ages. That's why they were seeking to go back to that slavery. That's why they were seeking to go back in that slavery. It was so, it was easier to them to obey Egyptian that was beating them day and night than to obey God that was taking them from bondage to freedom. Can you imagine? It is easier for them that was torturing them to obey those that was torturing them than to obey the one that was taking you from bondage to freedom. Exactly. Today they'll tell you that drop this thing so that you can God will receive you. You say no 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 no. I can mm, 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 mm. if it's like no 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 no. This message is too hard. I cannot stand it. Mm, mm, mm. I have to go. But no 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 no. If it's like this, I will not join again. You always talk about sin. You always talk about makeup. Mm, 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 mm. You talk about trust. No no no. God cannot. They prefer to go back where they are comfortable with their sin than the message that you send them. To, to make them to enter into the promised land. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us to obey God. To obey His commandments. And to trust Him in the time of trouble. To acknowledge Him in our situation, in our problem, in our challenge, in our trial. Try to find God. What do you want me to learn through this situation? You allowed it for a reason. If you allowed it, you want something, you want me to learn something through this situation. What do you want me to learn? Father, give me the grace. Give me the grace. If other people was able to overcome, God also give us the same grace to also overcome. 
whatever is happening to us now, it did not start from us. There is somebody that already faced it and God gave the grace of that person to overcome. You and I, we also overcome. We also overcome that situation. May the Lord give us the grace. Everybody that you want, God you want to use. Everybody that you want to make heaven, he have to pass through wilderness. David was anointed by God himself. To be the next king after Saul. But he did not sit down in that throne easily. He had to face persecution from Saul. He had to be hiding from the bush. He had to be in the wilderness alone with God. You have to be in the situation that you have to acknowledge God. That ah, God is only you. Do not abandon me. You have to feel the presence of God even when there's nobody around you. Inside that deep darkness, you have to see the light coming out of that tunnel to save you. Because when you start worshipping God, you know the God you are worshipping. That's how God wants to worship Him in the truth, in the spirit, in the truth. You cannot worship God in the spirit, in the truth if you don't know Him. If you have not yet accepted him as a mighty God, if you have not yet accepted him that he can do impossibility to become possible in your life, you cannot. You'll be a liar. That's why God said that those people, they wash, they come with me with their lip, but their heart is far from me because their heart was far. The children of Israel, their heart was far from God. That's why a small challenge will come. They start blaspheming against God. They start murmuring against God. They start criticizing God. Although God did what he did for them, but they were, their heart was far. Their heart was attached to Egypt. They left Egypt physically, but their spirit, their heart was still in the bondage. How many of children of God today, we call ourselves Christian, but our mind is still in bondage in the things of the world. Our heart is still in bondage in the things of the world. That's why we are finding it difficult to drop it, because we are so attached to it, rather than to be attached with the word of God. I will leave you with this. Ask yourself, are you free from the powers of Egypt? Are you free from the bondage of Egypt? You are still in the wilderness. This is the time to free yourself through the word of God. May the Lord bless you for today. Happy Sunday for you. God bless you all. Over to you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, glory, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you, woman Amen. of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. We thank God. We thank God. Our God is good. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. I thank God for <laughs> he took us from wilderness. Huh? He took us from the bondage where he's in uh, uh, Egypt. And now the, the long way that you and I, we are taking, we thank God. <laughs> God is with us. Never abandon us. We bless the name of the Lord. There is tough time, but Almighty God, we give you and I the grace to pass through it and the victory we follow in Jesus. And may the Lord bless you, woman of God. May the Lord increase you more and more, more anointing from above unto you in Jesus' name. We thank God. You know, I thank God for the woman of God. You see, the woman of God spoke about, uh, about uh, now we have to die to our flesh. That is brokenness. You and I, as a child of God, we must be broken. We must be broken. Brokenness is very is important for you and I, as a child of God. Father God, taking them through that wilderness, He wants them to be broken. But I thank God for God. Some some did, but some were not. May the Lord give us the grace to be broken. And the, you know, when we are broken, God Almighty God, we elevate you and I. May the Lord give us the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus. Now, we like us to pray for the woman of God. God, I used to, to open our eye to encourage us again for us to know this journey, glorious journey. <laughs> we bless the name of the Lord. Let us pray for her in Jesus' name. 
Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord, the Asians of the Father, we give you all the glory of the honor and the praise, Almighty God. And I will thank you for your daughter, Almighty God. We thank you for using her to be a blessing to us, Almighty God. And as you use her to be a blessing to us, Father, bless her in return in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, every virtue that went out of her, Father, replenish unto her in Jesus' name. Any power that want to attack her because of this message, Father, let your thunder from above arise and consume those powers in Jesus' name. And I empower her more and more, more fresh and more of the anointing upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue filling her with your spiritual bone and to continue preach your gospel boldly, the, the word of your Almighty God, the word of truth, Almighty God, sound doctrine for your glory in Jesus' name. And I build the head of protection around her, around her family in the name of Jesus, around her hustle in Jesus' name, Father, my Lord. As you said, according to your word, the angels of and the angel of the law encamp around it that fear the land, that fear the Lord and they deliver them. Please, Almighty God, send your angels to encamp around her her and her, and her family and deliver her and her family from the evil ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we see this message with your precious blood. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray for ourselves. We are going to ask Father God, Almighty God, Father, give me the spirit of brokenness. Father, break me, remote me to your taste. Father, break me in this journey. Father, give me the grace to pass through my wilderness. Give me the grace. Give me the grace and the, the, the patience to be patient waiting for, to be patience waiting for you. In the name of God, let us pray. Let us ask God. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, my Lord, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, my Father, we need your brokenness, so my God, Father, break up and remove us to your taste, so my God, in the name of Jesus, Father, through the wilderness that you are passing through, and be with us, so my God, in the name of Jesus, my Father, help us not to look back, help us to follow you to the end, in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord, Father, help each and every one of us, all the body of our Father, help us to any of us, sons, any of your daughter that is in the wilderness right now, and I'll be with the Father, take the true Almighty God in the name of Jesus, Christ. and I'll give us the grace to focus on you in Jesus' name. And as we hear, as we hear the word, your word, Almighty God, give us the grace to put your word in practice in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We cover this message with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, use this message to transform all of us your children, the one that following us online, all of us, the one that listen and the one that we listen later. Father, use this message trans to transform us for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, I will call upon the servant of God, Evangelist Jan, for the contribution. May the Lord bless you, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for this wonderful message in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us open our Bible in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. I'm taking from verse 6 to 7. He said, but this I said, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap shall reap also bountifully. Seven, every man according as he purpose in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth, loveth a cheerful giver. We are talking about our tithe and our offering. Bible is telling us that God not love a cheerful giver. Don't need somebody to come and lay hand on your head before you give the offering in the house of God or the tithe in the house of God, knowing that the tithe is the 10% of your profit or of your income. The offering is as the Holy Spirit will lead you. You give it into the house of the Lord so that, as the Bible said, meat will be done. Will be meat. Hallelujah. I'm going to be singing this song when you will be looking for your tithe, your offering, before we pray for it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Giver of all the good, good things, Father, we cannot thank you enough. 
giver of all the good, good things. Father, we cannot thank you enough. Giver of all the beautiful things. Jehovah, we cannot thank you enough. Giver of all the beauty. Jehovah, we cannot thank you enough. But of all the good, good things, that yeah, we cannot thank you enough. Giver of all the mighty things, Father, we cannot thank you enough. Giver of all the good, good things, Jehovah, we cannot thank you enough. See Yahweh, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 eh, eh, Yahweh, eh, Yahweh, 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 you are Jehovah Jari, Jehovah Jari, you are Jehovah Jari. I like belong to you. You are the owner of us. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Jireh. Sing Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Eh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Eh, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Eh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. Lift up your offering, your tithe. Let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory and rock of ages, we want to thank you for this moment. We thank you, Lord, as you brought us up to this time. Father, we, pro we, we offer, we present you our offering, our tithe. Oh, Lord, we pray thee, Father, may you, may you multiply it, oh, Lord God Almighty. Father, as you will be doing the work of your heart, remember your children. Remember those that have not today. Remember even those that have, Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus. Glorify yourself in their life, Lord. Make them partaker of this miracle in the time to come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray the O oh Lord God that as you give us, Father, the opportunity to sow in your house. Also give us the wisdom, O oh Lord, how to use it in your house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the praise and adoration. We cover our offering and tithe with the precious blood of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, man. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb, to the Lamb of God. I will give uh, our uh, weekly announcements. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Mondays, Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, and the Wednesdays. Sorry, Monday, Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, and uh, Thursday at uh, 1 p.m. London time. Pray with us, season. Please, if you have time, just join us in Jesus' name. Tuesdays and uh, Thursday at uh, midnight uh, London time, midnight prayers. Please join us. Father, as the word of the Lord said, we should not sleep as others are sleeping. Let us stand up for the for stand at the gap for our family member, for so for us and for our family members as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Mont, uh, Saturdays at uh, 6 p.m. London time, godly children, godly children in Christ. If you if you have children, please bring them, let them come and learn the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Mondays, Mondays twice in the month, Mondays, Bible study, and the virtual sermon time twice a month, virtual sermon time. 7 p.m. London time. Please, if you have a time on Mondays, please join us. We'll be so blessed to see you. Contribute as well if you want to. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Weekly night, night FAG, Friday, every Fridays at 11 p.m. London time. Please join us in Jesus' name. Amen. Sunday service, our Sunday service at 4 p.m. London time. As today, 4 p.m. London time, we are studying our Sunday service. Every first, every first Sunday of each month, Holy Communion. Father God, Father Lord Jesus Christ said we should do it in remembrance of him. Every first, every first Sunday of each month, we are having a Holy Communion. 
So every first week of the month, we have a fasting and a prayer to dedicate the month into the hands of God. Please prepare next month. May the Lord give you the grace to join us in the three days prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you all. This is the announcement for the week. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I, will call, I will call upon the, our evangelist, evangelist Mary, for the benediction. May the Lord bless you, man. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, King of glory, shed of day, I am that I am, the beginning and the end. Father, we thank you because you started with us as Alpha and you finished with us, O Lord, Father, as Omega. We thank you for today's Sunday service, Father. We thank you for your word, O Lord Jesus, Father, that you're reminding us, O Lord Jesus, Father, to drop every brokenness in us, every pride in us, every work of the flesh in us, to walk our salvation with fear and trembling. Father, we thank you. We thank you, O Lord Jesus, because on us, Father, for the promised land, O Lord, Father, that you are preparing us so, Lord, Father, in this wilderness for us to enter it. Father, we thank you for today's message, O oh, Lord, Father. I pray, O oh, Lord, Father, this message will bring transformation in our life and will be the doer of it, you know, the year only. Thank you, Father, for today. I thank you, O oh, Lord, Father, for the brethren that are joining us today to, to, to fellowship with us. I thank you for those that will listen to it later. I thank you, O oh, Lord Jesus Christ, O oh, Father, for your love upon our life. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus, the message of the blood of Jesus, to reach out to those that you want them to reach to read this message and Lord Father that you need to hear this message Lord Father that them connect them in Jesus mighty name and pray amen. amen as we come to the end of our service let us share the grace and fellowship in Jesus name and surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever ever Amen. Amen. A few seconds silence, please. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom, shalom.